Thank you for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Simisola Adigun. Wife of slain Nigerian journalist Dodue Salem has sued the Nigerian government at the ECOWAS court. husband's tragic death. In the suit, Deve Boshua prayed the ECOWAS court to compel the Nigerian government to pay her two million US dollars being the sum the slain journalist would have if alive till exhaustion of his life expectancy. She also sought an order directing the Nigerian government to pay her five million US dollars as aggravated damages for the illegal detention, torture and premeditated murder of her husband by officers of the Nigerian police. The Senate, through its panel on public accounts, has ordered the arrest of Director General of the Nigerian Maritime and Safety Agency, Bashir Jamo, for allegedly paying the sum of $5 million to a legal firm as professional fee for the recovery of a $9.3 billion loss. According to findings, the $5 million served as payment for the intelligence-based tracking of a global movement of Nigerian hydrocarbon and recovery of loss by the federal government in the sum of $9.3 billion between 2013 and 2014. Chairman of the committee, Senator Matthew Urogide, at a briefing on Sunday, tackled the agency over the failure of Nemasa to appear before the panel, saying the panel had no other option than to issue a warrant of arrest for Jamo. Oyo State Deputy Governor Raul Folanio has been impeached by the State House of Assembly following allegations of financial recklessness, insubordination and other offences. Olania's removal was quickly completed at the Assembly's plenary session on Monday after it adopted the report of a seven-man panel to investigate allegations of misconduct against the Deputy Governor. Olanio, who has been battling his removal from office since last week, lost after the State High Court presided over by Justice Ladiron Akintola dismissed the suit filed by the Deputy Governor to stop the House from removing him. In his ruling, Akintola said the impeachment move initiated by the lawmakers had not violated the Constitution. North Korea says it is on the path to finally defuse a crisis stemming from its first acknowledged outbreak of COVID-19. According to local media, 99% of its 4.77 million fever patients since last April have fully recovered. Health authorities also disclosed that it had been developing new methods to better detect the virus and its variants, as well as other infectious diseases such as monkeypox. Meanwhile, the World Health Organization has cast doubt on North Korea's claims, saying it believed the situation was getting worse last month, not better, amid an absence of independent data. Scores of imported vehicles are currently trapped at the Five Star Logistics Terminal in Tinkan Island Port following the Nigerian Customs Service blockade of the exit access over unpaid debt amounting to about 97.3 million naira. Public relations officer of the command Uche Ejesieme disclosed this in disclosed that in the course of investigation and auditing, the system revealed an unpaid accumulated amount, hence the reason for the blockade. HSCMN declared that the management of the terminal had engaged the command in discussions, adding that the customs service will not condone any act by any operator to hold on to funds belonging to the federal government. Sri Lanka's acting president has renewed the country's state of emergency, giving him broad authority amid growing protests demanding his resignation two days before the lawmakers are set to elect a new president. Under the emergency regulations, the acting president can authorize detentions, take possession of any property and search any premises. He can also change or suspend any law. Ahead of Wednesday's poll to elect the president, police and the military have stepped up security for the remainder of Mahinda Rajapaksa's term, which ends in November 2024. In sports, Bayern Munich have reportedly made an inquiry to sign Napoli attacker and rumored Arsenal target Victor Osimhen with the Bundesliga giant looking for a replacement for Robert Lewandowski. According to local reports, the German side has approached Napoli over a potential deal to sign Osimhen with the Syria club, valuing their star attacker at 100 million euros. Napoli's 85 million euros price tag for Osimhen puts Bayern off signing the Nigerian superstar, with Arsenal also reportedly interested in the 23-year-old attacker. That's all on the newsroom at this time. Join us again for more updates.